I'm here with the Honorable H. Frank Lewis, Lieutenant Governor of Prince Edward Island, and in his current role as Lieutenant Governor, he's one of the top salespeople for BPI and always promoting the place and encouraging people, and he's been an entrepreneur a long time. When when did you start out, or when did you first know you were an entrepreneur, Your Honor? Well, I don't know today that I am, but anyway, I did start out at a very young age, as you know, uh, and uh, we started out in uh, in Stanhope back in the uh, in the sixties, and uh, we had a little place up there. We had a little bit of a campground, and we sold ice and did that type of thing. And then um, we moved from there in 1969 with Burden Robinson over to start Vacation Land uh, Trailer Park in Brackley. So. And when did you start out then? You were selling uh, on, the, on the floor, selling even before that, weren't you? Were you was it home? Just oh, yes, then? yeah. Oh, yeah. I started, yeah. Well, I started uh, back in uh, in the mid 50s, mid to late 50s, with Harry A. McDougall's menswear in Charlottetown, which was a great experience because uh, he was uh, he was very, very strict on your dress. And like it wouldn't matter if it was 100 degrees, you had to have your tied tucked up and so it was a great it was a great lesson for a young fella coming from the third district of Queens yeah. and uh, so uh, that uh, and then after that I uh, I went to Holman's and spent some time there at which time in uh, mid-1966 August actually I went to CFCY in, in, the, in sales selling radio and and uh, my career there lasted until uh, 2000 and, uh, uh, 2004. Four decades. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. 40, 44 years. Yeah, I saw a lot of growth in that time, too. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah. And what do, would you say, looking back on that, is the kind of the essence or the, the ingredients that defines an entrepreneur? Well, you know, in my, in my particular experience, of course, it's all about relationships. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's absolutely. I mean, you got to get to know people. You got to—they got to have your trust. And uh, and I was always, I thought, reasonably good at that. I was never very shy about talking. And uh, you you just had to build up a relationship with the people. And you know, I can remember back in the day, and you would know uh, the individual Orville Turner who had the business out in uh, Winslow, and he never, ever, ever used radio or never spent any money in advertising. And I said, you know, Orville. This contract that we're about to sign is a salesperson that you don't have to pay benefits to. You know, you can do the work, you just got to get people, hang out your shingle and let people know you're there. So, no, it, it was a great, it was a great run for me and uh, I enjoyed every minute of it and of course I enjoy very much what I'm doing today. Which is a continuation it, of oh, relationships and hustling. Yes. Like as I told you on the way in, I was up to Summerside last night for the uh, City Awards there and what a wonderful event it was. I mean they highlighted a dozen people who are very active in the community and doing volunteer work and you know, so it, it's, a, it's all good, really good. Well, Your Honor, we appreciate the work that you're still doing on behalf of all the people of the province, and uh, and we know it's uh, something you've been at for a, a long time. This will be good for people to get the example and uh, to know what it is to be an entrepreneur. Thank My you. pleasure to do it. That's great. Yeah. Have a great day. Okay.